Made for kids by kids. Welcome to the Creative Kids Club Show. Hello everybody, welcome to the Creative Kids Club with a K. My name is Hudson and this is my brother Carter. And Carter, what are we drawing today? A jellyfish. Yes, we're drawing a jellyfish today. This is a request from our little brother boys. And so today we're going to draw a simple jellyfish. This drawing is also just for young artists to start off or just somebody who wants to get a drawing out and improve their drawing skills. Let's get started. But first, before we get started, we're going to do a trivia question. What is the largest jellyfish called? A. The colossal jellyfish. B. The elephant jellyfish. C. The lion's mane jellyfish. Stay tuned to the end to figure out the trivia question answer. So we're going to start off with a big rainbow shape. It's going to be big. Then you're going to make some big bumps that come across here and they're going to connect straight into there on each side. Then you're just going to draw two dots for the eyeballs. And then you're just going to make a little smiley face. Then, we're just going to draw some simple squiggly lines that I think I'm going to do, let me see, I think I'm going to do six. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then, you're just going to... And then you're just going to connect them back up like that. So you're going to do the same thing and connect them. Five. And boom. Then you're just going to draw... Another bumpy line through here, so you can make it bumpy. Just going to come all the way back to there. And then you can just add some bumps right here for the eyebrows. Make it look more like a jellyfish. Then you just going to add some more bumps like that. Can add some bumps right here. All around, just add a bunch of bumps, make it look squishy. And there you go, that is your drawing of a jellyfish. We're gonna fast forward and start coloring this. Hope you enjoy. It's time for a trivia question answer. The answer is C. The giant jellyfish, or the largest jellyfish in the world, is called the lion's mane jellyfish. It is the largest known species of jellyfish and has been found with tentacles up to 120.4 feet long. Longer than a blue whale. Is that crazy? It blows me away. Man, there are some crazy things that God has created out there. Jellyfish have no bones, brains, teeth, blood, or fins, which is really weird. However, they do have a simple nervous system with receptors that detect light vibrations and chemicals and allow them to move through the water. So, jellyfish don't squirt their way or just wiggle around in the water. They use those receptors to detect light, vibrations, and chemicals, and that allows them to basically move through the water very easily. Also, jellyfish come in a lot of sorts of different colors. They can come in blue, pink, white, yellow, orange, red, sometimes even purple, and white, sometimes even green. Oh, 
one time me and Hudson going fishing with Uncle David for a swim, and we actually saw the white jellyfish. Yes, we went fishing with our Uncle David for squid, and we, when we were there, we saw a white jellyfish. Even though the jellyfish are really like just blubbery and s sticky and stuff, we tried to wave our poles through the jellyfish or catch the jellyfish, but it would just take the line straight through the jellyfish. That's weird. Some jellyfish can glow in the dark, which is pretty crazy. Many jellyfish have bioluminescence, which is a chemical or organ which imitates blue or green light, causing them to glow. The light is typically active by touch, which serves to startle predators. Now, bioluminescence is something that a lot of sea creatures that live in the dark have. Like sea creatures down in the deep sea, a lot of them have bioluminescence and a lot of them share bioluminescence. Bioluminescence is a special chemical that helps a lot of sea creatures be able to glow in the dark. Bioluminescence is really important to sea creatures that live in the dark, like jellyfish, anglerfish, um, deep sea shrimp, and a lot of other things like dragonfish. And jellyfish have that too. Bioluminescence startles predators, it helps them find their food, it helps them even catch their food. Since some of their food is even attracted to the bioluminescence. Eats away the little particles that are in the bioluminescence. And some fish, like anglerfish, which female anglerfish have those little holes on the end of their head to their snout that have bioluminescence in them. And the little sea shrimp and stuff that and there's some animals that eat it and it will take little particles off of it and they'll actually eat them until the anglerfish or whatever it is, even sometimes jellyfish, they will take their prey that they were using with bioluminescence. Isn't bioluminescence so fascinating? Now, there's not just bioluminescence that's a chemical in jellyfish. Jellyfish have a lot of other things too, which I don't know all of them, but I do know that jellyfish are really cool and they make me happy to learn about. Did you have fun learning about jellyfish today? And don't forget, if you mess up, they keep going. And have fun and enjoy and practice. And that is your drawing of a jellyfish, a simple jellyfish. Hope you enjoy. Goodbye. As always, if you enjoy this video, Please let us know by hitting the thumbs up button. And to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the Creative Kids Club channel. Your support is greatly appreciated.